Hello everyone. Welcome to 3DSN. In this tutorial, I'll show you step by step how to design a modern dressing table. If you're interested in 3D modeling and interior design, make sure to subscribe to 3DSN for more amazing tutorials. Now let's get started. By the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle first. By dimensions, 170 centimeters, 270 centimeters. By the push-pull tool, extrude it 5 centimeters. Triple-click to select it all and group it. By pressing the R key to activate the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle here. By pressing the top arrow key, lock the Z-axis. I want to draw a rectangle across the Z-axis by dimensions 3, 2. It means 3 centimeters in length and 2 centimeters in width. Triple click on the rectangle and make it a component. By the move tool, move it and press the control P to take a copy of this. Then type a forward slash 45, then enter to copy it 45 more times. Edit the component and by the push pull tool, extrude it up to the bottom. Then, by the Tap Measure tool, its shortcut is T. I want to have a guideline from the bottom at 20 centimeters. And another guideline from the top is 20 centimeters too. By the Arc tool, its shortcut is A. I want to draw an arc here. up to the midpoint of this wood panel, like this. This arc doesn't have enough segments. I want to increase its segments. Then right-click on the edge, then go to Entity Info. Here, it has 12 segments, and I want to increase it. I want to have this arc 300 segments. Now it's looking smoother. By the Line tool, I want to make a face here, and by the push-pull tool, extrude it 2 centimeters. Now, this is the mirror for this dressing room. Double-click on the face, offset this face 3 centimeters, add a line here. and at the bottom as well. Erase these lines and these lines as well. Extrude this face using the push-pull tool and hit the control key up to the midpoint of this. Make space for the LED light. Pick a color from the materials. I want to pick this dark yellow to apply it here for the LED light to make it in LED light in D5 render. Delete this edge by hitting the delete key. With the eraser tool, its shortcut, as you know, is E. I want to erase this line and erase this line as well. With the scale tool, I want to scale the mirror a little bit more. I scale at 1.1. Triple click, then right click and make it a group. With the tape measure tool, I want to have a guideline from this guideline up to 50 centimeters. And another guideline up to 20 centimeters as well. I want these guidelines to draw drawers for this dressing room. Draw a rectangle here. Hit the left arrow key to lock the Y-axis. 
I want to draw a rectangle across the y-axis, then activate the x-ray mode to show the space behind that I want to draw my rectangle. Here, I want to draw my rectangle up to here. After that, extrude it using the push-pull tool 40 centimeters. Triple click and make it a group. Then go to the Edit tab and click on Delete Guides to delete the guidelines in one click. Edit the group. When I enter the group, I want to hide the rest of the models. You can easily go to the View tab, then Component Edit. After that, click on Hide Rest of Model. I made a custom shortcut for it before. If you want to learn how to make custom shortcuts in SketchUp, please comment Custom Shortcuts. I want to unhide the rest of the models. Go to the View tab, Component Edit, click on Hide Rest of Model. Right-click on the drawers. Click on Intersect Faces. Then, click on With Model to separate this place. Now, I want to hide the rest of the models. Here, I want to make a place for the mirror. With the Eraser tool, I want to erase these lines Erase these lines too. With the push-pull tool, extrude this face up to here, like this. After that, I want to have two drawers. Copy this line, and bring it to the midpoint. Now. Copy this line by pressing the control key again and move it 0.2 centimeters. Then, move it back 0.4 centimeters. Use the eraser tool to erase this line. Now, extrude this face up to the back of the drawers. Erase this line and this line as well. Extrude the drawers from the top down 2 cm and double click this face to extrude it 2 cm as well. Extrude it again a little bit more, 1 cm, and double click on this face to extrude it 1 cm as well. Now it's looking much better. Using the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle here and extrude it 3 cm. Triple click to select it all and make it a group. Inside the group, use the arc tool to draw an arc here. Double click on the face to select the face with the connected edges. Hold the shift key, then left click on the face to deselect it. So deselect this edge and this edge as well. I want to keep the edges selected. Use the Follow Me tool to apply this profile to smooth the edges. Inside the group, go to the View tab, then Component Edit, and click on Hide Rest of Model. To unhide the rest of the model, go to the Materials, click on Stone Materials, pick this stone material, and apply it here. Triple click on it to select it all, then apply the material to everything. Click on the plus button because I want to use a custom texture. Then, click on this folder. I want to pick this texture, so click on it, then click Open, and then OK. Go inside the group, select the face where you want to apply the texture. Then, press the B key to activate the pen bucket tool. Use the texture, and edit it a little bit. I want to resize the texture here, so type 50. Then, right-click on this texture, click on Texture, and then click on Position. Here, you can resize and rotate the texture. Left-click and rotate the texture 90 degrees. Move it a little bit. It's looking very nice. Then, right-click and click on Done to confirm the texture. Apply the texture on another face as well. Here, the rotation of the texture isn't correct. Hold the Alt key and click on the first texture to pick it, then apply it on this face. 
Apply the texture on the rest of the faces. Inside the group. Click on face, then apply the texture. Apply the texture on these faces as well. Now it's looking very nice. Select the vertical slats and apply the texture. Inside this group, triple click to select it all. Right click and click on intersect faces with the model. I want to cut this space to make a place for a mirror. Unhide the rest of the models. Erase this space. Select these edges and faces. By pressing the delete key, delete them and erase these extra edges as well. Using the line tool, fill these faces here. Draw another line from here. The last one from this corner point, like this. Erase these lines. Erase these edges. Erase these lines as well. Erase these lines as well. Pick the first texture and apply it. Now it's looking nice. But we need a little bit more extrusion. Extrude this face a little bit more. Unhide the rest of the models. Extrude the face up to here, 3.6 centimeters. Now it's looking very nice. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and learned something new in SketchUp. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for more tutorials. Feel free to leave your feedback in the comments. Ask me any questions and let me know what tutorials you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.